All right, welcome back to the channel. This is Red Dirt Resell, and another day out on the storage auction buying trail. We um, won a couple units. I actually won three units yesterday online. One of them's in Smyrna, Georgia, which is a um, completely different city than I'm in now. We're in we're in Dallas, is where the store is. We two of them were here in Snellville. I drove a little bit over an hour to get out here to Snellville. I had two units, same location, right here, extra space, same exact location. Um, one of the units had a bunch of furniture in it, and went for $110, one of them was a big 10 by 30, anything and everything, I went for $420. And it is 11.30 right now, 11.30 in the morning. These things ended yesterday afternoon, just going to the office, and they've both paid up. So I'm like, well, why didn't somebody call or let storage treasures know? So they tend a cancellation notice. And, you know, basically they weren't doing, you know, doing their job this morning. She said this location was closed. These things were paid up before the auction ever even happened yesterday. But all morning this morning, they get here probably eight or nine o'clock. You know, they should have immediately checked those and let people know or just let storage treasures know, which they would have sent a cancellation notice. So I drove over an hour, but this is how it goes sometimes. It's nothing new, it's happened before, all kinds of stuff like this, or you show up, you know, in the middle of the week and the office is just closed for no reason. So it's just something you have to deal with. But now we're gonna drive to Smyrna to go see if hopefully that one's still there. Um, it's actually back closer to where the store is and everything. We're, on, we're in Snellville now, which is all the way on the other side of Atlanta. So um, we're gonna head back over that way and See if that one's still there and load it up. All right, we just got back from Snellville on our big wasted two hour plus journey out there. And we are in, we got the truck that's, it's empty here. Ann's here, I'm here. We're actually in Marietta now. I want a unit here. I didn't even know I'd want it. I mean, I bid on it, but I didn't realize I'd want it because it kind of disappeared off of the screen. And I didn't realize I want it. But when I was looking at my invoices, I came here by accident. It's a long story, but out of a bunch of invoices and they all kind of got all mixed together. Um, so what happens if you've been on a lot of units on the same day from the same auction company, but ended up here, thought I was going to pick up another unit that I did win for $350, but it's in Smyrna. When I looked at my invoices, I came to this address and I was like, oh, it's in Marietta, not Smyrna. Then when I showed up at the, the front desk of there, he hands me the receipt and it says $30 and I'm looking like, you know, what in the world? I was like, it was $350. After some confusion, we figured it out and I was like, oh, I didn't even know I won this unit. So this is a pretty good looking unit for 30 bucks. We'll walk in there in just a second. And I did win the unit for 350 in Smyrna. I'm gonna go get that tomorrow. We're about to load this one right now. We'll walk in there and show it to you. It's gonna be inside this hall right here. No carts in, so we just gotta use these. It's not real far down there, but um, it's not real close either. Sorry, right. no problem. We're going for a little while, so. <laughs> All right. We'll try to prop that with something. But this is right here. We just came around and opened the door. 10 by 15 unit. Like I said, 30 bucks. a surprise unit. Yeah, it was a surprise. We you didn't even know you had it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Big surprise. But hey, yeah. yeah. Thirty dollars. I was like, oh, well, they got something, something weird in the system, and then they're gonna like 
We're gonna be staying here forever trying to figure it out. Yeah, what's going on here? All right, so dishes or just breakable stuff wrapped up in clothes there. The box underneath it is full of like kitchen stuff, like cookware and stuff. Little wok there. If we look down in here, we got pots and pans, muffin pans, all kinds of stuff down in there. Another wrapped up thing, roasting pan down in there. there all kinds of kitchen stuff in this big box. Yeah, thirty dollars worth of stuff at least in there. Give me a second. Set that up on there. That's heavy. What is this? There's the seat for the chair. They got it wrapped up in a bag. I mean, it's got marks on it. I don't know why they decided to wrap that up particularly. MJ shoes. That means they're Michael Jordan shoes, and There you go. <laughs> um, there's shoes. Oh, they're tied together. Bobby. I thought they were like Converse or something at first. Those are Converse though. Converse All-Star and they look good. They do. The whole big box full of shoes, it appears. A lot of women's shoes. There's the other Converse All-Star. So, what do we have here? Looks like some paperwork and stuff. Maybe some perfume right there. Yeah. Rose, Rose Rush, Paris Hilton, perfume. All right, so lots of shoes that which look to be in good condition. To looks just kind of all you know, not perfect condition, but good condition. That's another heavy one because it's full. Yeah. There's the other bar stool here. Oops. The vase. Get back in there. Lots of boxes stacked up. Wonder if there's gonna be another piece to this, like a couch set or something that matches that. There could be back there. There, that might be the headboard right there. I mean, I'm sorry, the footboard that matches this. I'm curious. I want to. All right, I'm gonna spin this headboard around a little bit so I can see in there. I'm just curious what kind of shape it's in. If it's gonna be in good shape or if it's all gonna be scratched and dinged to death like we get sometimes let's see and no this it's in beautiful condition I'm surprised they didn't have this covered up I mean it's in excellent condition almost perfect see so one little mark right there I think that's just something that can kind of wipe off or touch up but I mean it's in very good shape so that's a good sign for the furniture shoe rack here that needs a little tightening up the beds in great shape I mean I just pulled that around to look at it got a bread box this feels like it's empty it just has really light stuff in it pretty much empty but these things right here are always an easy easy sell Plastic totes with lids and the little plastic drawer organizers. That's a easy sell all day long. All right. There's a couple of luggage racks. Man, these boxes though are just really, really heavy. This one's going to come apart. I guess I could take this this box out of there maybe let's see basket let's see if i can get this out okay i got pictures here let me flip these over okay bubbles graduation bubbles and down in there Looks like some decor. Oh, this is cool right here. A mask, maybe. 
trying to not show those pictures there. Uh, Whoa, just knocked that down. There's a mask. That's a nice one. Candles, so nice decor. There's a fake pumpkin, I think. Fake pumpkin. <laughs> I don't think this is yet. Yeah, Pure One Imports. Ghana Collection Round Zebra Mask. Okay. Let's see what else is in this box. That was a box in this box. Took it out because these boxes are so heavy. Electric knife. Now there's more. They got all kinds of stuff. I guess this is going to be their packing way. And clothes yeah. and pillowcases. They've wrapped everything up. Yeah. A little Halloween decoration there. <laughs> Look at this right here. This is cool. Oh, oh it's an actual nutcracker. nutcracker. Yeah, this oh, is cool. Man. It's a squirrel. I love that. That's, That's cool. Awesome. Yeah. I've never seen one. It seems like it would be a common one to get a squirrel yeah. and make a nutcracker, but I've never seen that. I've never seen it either. And yeah, just lots of who knows what all down in here wrapped up. Here's a timer. It's a strawberry. <laughs> if it works, don't we? I don't know. Let's we'll see. But yeah, more stuff. I mean, even little bitty stuff wrapped up in a sock. It feels like seashells, maybe. Okay. Or maybe it's just, okay. or maybe um, something broken. Yep, it's broken. It's a broken little teacup. But there's other sock with a cup in it and other bigger stuff down in there. Gingerbread man. Alright, let me get some of these heavy boxes stacked up. Blankets, let's see. The boxes are definitely not taped very well. Them are coming open on the bottom. Well, they get... Okay, yep, it is blankets, uh, sleeping bags, that sort of thing. There's a suitcase with shrink wrap or something on it. There's the zipper. There, there it is. You think it's clothes in? Yes. And it is closed. And look, we got a, a nice, looks like a leather jacket right here on the top. I think it's leather. Um, no. Non-leather material. It feels like leather. Feels good, but it's, apparently it's not. Unless I'm looking at, at the wrong part of the tag. I don't know. But anyways. Yeah. Looks like some decent clothes in here. Yep. And then that's all. This whole top part here is full of clothes. Yeah, I can see clothes kind of coming out. Zip it back up. Should have a zipper on that side. Pull it a little bit. Yep. It's a really nice suitcase. I wonder if it's yeah. this is wrapped from like the manufacturer put on it. They just never took it all the way off. Yeah, still got the like still has it. the plastic around the handle. Yeah. All right, got a little bag here, a chair maybe, but I don't, I don't think it's a chair, I don't know. Oh, it's a um, exercise mat. TV stand, miscellaneous bags. What is this? Oh, we got the flag. Fallen soldier flag. In the nice um, frame there. What we'll to ask him up front if they're going to want it back before we go. Some little weights. What are these, like two pounds? Not more, but yeah, I guess about two pound weight. All right, let me slide this over so I can look over here. All right, yeah, 
this is the the footboard for that bed there. So the whole bed, well, I still need to find the rails. Oh, here's the rails right here. So we got the side rails, footboard, headboard. Ugh, big old bag here. Feels like blankets, that kind of thing. The pillows, comforter, something along them lines. It's a um, rubber made set, but that's not what's in it. Something else is inside of here. What is it? Oh, we got cookie cutters and ribbon, like Christmas ribbon in there. So it looks like mostly, it's kind of like craft stuff. It looks kind of like mainly kind of Christmas type craft stuff. And this, I think that's what's in it, the Vix thing. It, it feels, it's the right weight and it sounds right. And we got a plastic tote full of plastic containers. Same thing here. Plastic containers and a plastic tote. If we move over this way, nice little sofa table here with the all different colored tile inlaid top. Fake plant, those always sell. Organizer. Let's flip it around. Let's spin these around and look and see what we got in here. This looks like it's going to be like hair stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me, that kind of stuff. But stuff like this is always nice and easy to sell. It feels like it's full, really looks like it was barely ever used. Other items like that um, flat iron, curling iron. So this is all like hair care type stuff. Bubble cake. And it's half used. Now this thing, another organizer, this one's heavy. I can get it turned around. So I can open the drawers. Oh. What do we have here? We got some total basic skill. Okay, like learning books. Almost like homeschool or teacher books. Yeah, flashcards, that kind of thing. Paper clips. So that thing's kind of stuck cool. And then markers, pencils, pens, paint brushes. And that is kind of what's down in there, it looks like. All right. And once again, like I said, the organizer is good, except for, okay, I thought we were missing a wheel, but it was just hanging off the back. So the front half of the unit, you know, lots of good small stuff, nice bed. So for $30, well worth it at this point, nice sofa table. And we still have the whole back half of the unit. Looks like a few more nice pieces of furniture, several more boxes to look at. So overall, I mean, you just, you can't beat it one for this price. And to be this nice and organized and really I don't see anything that's just trashed you know no big dirty mattress or anything like that to this point all right let me help Ann take some of this I'm going to grab these heavy ones stacked up here we'll get this loaded up all right back in this direction at least what it says on the box M clothes box three M clothes box one so it looks like a couple boxes of clothes here to start with I guess M is probably golly. These boxes are so full. M for MJ, maybe. That was on one of the boxes. MJ. I think the bottom's coming out. Or M for mom or something. But yeah, they're all folded up. Nice. So it looks like some nice clothing. Probably at least three boxes since that's number three. I think there might actually be more pieces to this living room set back there. That's what it looks like. <clears throat> this says towels. And what do you know? Towels, towels. Oh, but there's something else down there. Let's see. Towels. Looks like we got a little heater down in there. And 
toothbrushes. So maybe some bathroom items down in the bottom under the towels. More clothes. <clears throat> Miscellane miscellaneous clothes. Yep, clothing, clothing. Um, I don't know, the writing's probably on another side here. Is this the other clothing box? Yep. Arts and crafts. We'll pull that out further here in a second where we can see in it. We take this thing out, take this out, take that out, take that out, that, and then we can get to the rest of the boxes. Looks like maybe a dining set. I see chairs back there. They kind of look the same color as this. And I think that might be a dresser that matches the bed. So a bed set, dining set, living set from what it looks like. No dryer though that I can see yet. So just a washer maybe. And crafts is it marked right or yeah it's kind of arts and crafts stuff we got some boxing gloves it's not really arts and crafts but little candles hmm candles smell good old dinosaur box let's see Curlers. I don't know if it's arts and crafts necessarily. But... Yeah, I see lots of um, it's like paper and stuff down in there. Hats. And I mean, I mean kind of arts and crafts ribbon. stuff down in there that we're gonna we'll dig all the way to the bottom later on but some arts and crafts stuff some other stuff like boxing gloves aren't really arts and crafts dishes fragile it originally said mj coats oh and it is heavy so i got a feeling that it is dishes and it looks like yeah they got them wrapped up in blankets and stuff like they have in the other ones yep socks blankets bowls all the breakables are all right oh look at that coca-cola cafe by gibson so be interesting to see what's in here pictures fragile probably going to be like personal pictures i would imagine the Christmas wreath. Um, no, it's just kind of, at least down here on the top, it's just kind of decor. Cool. Wash and dry with the clothespins on it. That's a, it's upside down, uh, Bible verse on it. So at least here on the top, it's just kind of general wall art. And maybe down in here, you get into some personal stuff. And then we got kitchen items. That's what it says on this one. And it's hard to really, most of these you just can't tell much because everything's wrapped up. But I think it is kitchen items. There's a paper towel holder. There's a big stock pot. Um, this book, yep like utensils it says plastic serving spoons 
So definitely have to dig through there. I see a George Foreman, some kind of power pulse, like a blender or something. So we will see. We will see, but overall looking pretty good. Some Mickey Mouse pajama pants, or is this fabric? What is this? Okay, yeah, pajama pants. So pajamas, oh, there's a match. Looks like a... Okay. Here's more miscellaneous kitchen, but it's probably gonna be wrapped up everything like the other stuff. So there is a, uh, looks like a brand new hamburger press. Got a little fondue set here. Some measuring cups or mixing cups. And yet more stuff wrapped up for us to, to look at. So there'll be lots of stuff, lots of surprises. Once we start opening these up. Tote bags, large pillows, jackets, uh, throw blankets. So none of the stuff I'm going to open right now. A couple more boxes there, but then like I said, it looks like the match to that recliner which hopefully if it's in good as condition as the recliner this is a very nice set and be several hundred dollars and then we're going to see what kind of dining set we have here so we're almost done pretty clean organized unit haven't really been able to look through much of the small stuff because the way it's wrapped but so far so good for like i keep saying thirty dollars all right we got all the boxes here unloaded at the store all the furniture unloaded couple pieces of furniture we're going to have to make a couple small repairs on some of it we have out on the floor i'll show you here in just a second but let's dig into some of these boxes i already went through just a couple here lots of nice jackets whole buggy of jackets here to put out on the rack for i just do five dollars a piece on just you know if it's nothing super special um that's all dig aisle stuff which is two dollars then one dollar and it keeps going down until we just give it away if nobody buys it for a quarter but whole row of boxes here to dig through let's see what we got we kind of skimmed through a little bit as we were loading the unit but we didn't really go through a lot of this this was the one with shoes we'll hold off on this I gotta find one that there might be a few more surprises in this one says dishes number two okay this is the first one that we opened up that first we were kind of confused because everything is wrapped up in clothing there's this we already saw that so it says dishes but obviously it's not necessarily all dishes and they just got it like wrapped up in t-shirts i think this is the same thing another one of these little gesture no nope, it's just a regular doll Okay. And here is a pair of pants with a pot in it. <laughs> so I wonder if these clothes are any good. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it looks clean. So I think they just, just because they're using it to wrap stuff doesn't necessarily mean that there's anything wrong with it. This is like a, I don't know if this is like a pet pee pad or if this is like a you know adult pee pad I don't know and then we got like the Mardi Gras mask here this is kind of cool so they were into this kind of stuff these little doll type things see here's another that was wrapped up in that and it looks nice and clean so you have the clothes around the dishes Apparently are good. And curtains. There's a curtain. I don't know if this is a curtain or what. Good lord. And this is just a little musical doll. What is this? I don't think it's a curtain. It's a shirt. All right. Ooh, I got, here's a Versace case. It is empty. No glasses in that one. This is a lot. This is gonna take a while to unwrap all this. So 
probably just turn the camera off and do some unwrapping and then kind of show you what I got if it, it's worth showing because it's just kind of regular stuff look just a regular clear vase we got socks and st stuff stuff down in it at this box all empty it said dishes number two there was not really dishes there was a couple of glass items on the top but 90 percent of it was dolls it's a big old pile of dolls here then all these dolls and a bunch of these kind of dolls all came out of that box a couple mardi gras mask this one's kind of cool a little walking dance uh, dancing hula doll and then this ballerina statue which is kind of cool but really no dishes so that wasn't very accurate at all mostly dolls and then this box right here was down in the bottom it's heavy and it's all taped up so let's see what's in it probably a doll maybe of some sort but based off of everything else that was in the in the box or maybe a bunch of dolls okay <laughs> it looks like a bunch of little yep it's gonna be a bunch of little dolls all wrapped up Ooh, this is a nesting doll i think yep made in the ussr get the whole oop, nesting doll set this is cool let's see how small it gets still going i think that's the last one yep so that's cool little nesting doll set i don't know if there's any more nesting dolls or if that's the only one probably be more stuff like this which i think that almost looks like it's wood oh this is a willow tree <clears throat> angel yep willow tree angel there's people that not as hot as they want to were, but people still collect those. What else do we have? Treasures of the Heart Angel. Okay. Lots of little figurines and stuff packed into this box. Our song, Joys, something. Sisters in Secret, so another little marked statue. You never know on that stuff that's marked on the bottom what can be worth a few bucks and what's not. And a couple little angels here. And that's it on that box. Here's some of the furniture from the unit. This bed right here was in there and it has a matching dresser. I don't have a price on this yet because I got to fix one of the drawers on the dresser and then we'll put a price, but um probably two hundred dollars or more so like i said thirty dollar unit so two hundred dollars or more here's the living room set I actually ended up having two powered recliners in there recliner here and then the love seat so we got 495 dollars on the set <clears throat> and then we have sofa table here 75 dollars and other than that there is back in the back here there was a china cabinet and five chairs, no table, five really nice oak chairs and a china cabinet. So, oh, and then there was the um, washing machine also, which, yeah, right here ended up being a really nice Amana uh, washing machine, 125 bucks on that. And lots and lots of boxes we're still going through. All right, pretty much done with all those boxes now. There was quite a few. I already took a lot of them out to the trash, the empty boxes anyways. One thing left, there's still a few. This is all clothes, clothes, clothes. Got several buggies. This is the last little bit, but several heaping buggies, like probably four or five buggies to go over on the dig aisle. This is all the small stuff that we pulled out of the $30 You know, Everything, hold on, from here down all these dolls this is all stuff in the auction and then everything over here on these shelves 
was out of there. Ended up finding a couple pieces of cast iron, the Dutch oven, and the Griswold cast iron here. But not a huge amount of small stuff, a lot of clothes that'll add up. But the, like I said, $30 in the furniture, the living room set itself will pay for the unit many times over. So not a bad unit at all. Didn't even know I was gonna get it. It was a surprise bid on it. I just didn't know I'd want it and ended over, ended up by accident over at the facility where it was at, which was good because I would have ended up forgetting all about it. Got one more unit to go get, the one that I thought I was gonna go get, I'm gonna get that one later today. But that's it for that unit. Overall, good unit, you know, money-making unit. Not a great unit, but for, but because it was only $30, it turned into a really good unit. If I would have paid, you know, a few hundred dollars for it, three, four, five hundred dollars, it wouldn't have been as good because of the small stuff that just wasn't, you know, it was just all right. But because of the price, that's the what made it, you know, made it turn into a really good unit. Easy money maker, and that's how storage auctions goes. It doesn't necessarily have to be anything great, interesting, anything that you're, you know, that you're crazy about, as long as you get it at a good price, and you know, you can flip it and make some money. But that's it for this one. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment, all that stuff. Y'all have a good one.